no dancing, no photo booths, and ease up on the alcohol. Those are just some of the recommendations on Toronto Public Health's extensive list of guidelines for a safe wedding during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, a number of cases have been recently traced back to weddings, and many couples are scaling down to backyard affairs. But even on home ground, the rules must be followed. If you're having your reception or your gathering in a private home, in a backyard, well then your limits are 10 indoors and 25 outdoors. That is the latest gathering limit for Ontario and that means taking a hard look at your guest list. For one Toronto couple, it meant uninviting some guests twice. Right before COVID hit, we had actually ordered all of our invites for the 186 <laughs> guests. We had a lot of out of town guests, so we did decide to mail and those invites out. Rebecca and Chris's wedding was originally set for July and then postponed to September. In early June, they decided to scale down to a backyard reception with just 27 guests and then added back 10 more to the list when Toronto entered stage three a few weeks later. But then 24 hours before the big day... Doug Ford made the announcement that they were reducing the number of people that could gather outside and indoors as well. So um, the reduction to 25 meant that we had to uninvite 12 people. I went into shock. I just went quiet. Despite having fewer than a quarter of the guests they had originally invited, the couple says the day turned out to be perfect. And keeping attendance low at a wedding doesn't necessarily have to mean your loved ones can't see you get married. Have a virtual component so that other people can attend or if people are sick, they have an alternative. That's what Jonathan Carter and his new wife Julia chose to do because so many family members around the world couldn't be there for their long-awaited nuptials. It's been a long time for this. I mean, I'm 40, he's 43, so we've got family that's really waited for this moment, like really waited, and then we found each other, and then we're getting married, and it's like, you can't come. To make up for the heartbreak of their absence, the couple live-streamed their ceremony on YouTube and almost 100 guests across several time zones tuned in. My sister was watching from Australia and, and what they were saying were things like they felt like they were there, even the ones in Kenya. Now, Kenya had to wake up at 3 in the morning. Because it was live, it was different in that they weren't watching a curated video. It meant that anything went. Whatever it is that we were saying or doing, that's literally what was happening at that time. <laughs> and this video, shared widely on social media from a Brampton wedding, has relatives getting creative with the traditional Uptan ceremony to follow guidelines and maintain physical distancing. It involves family members applying a paste of turmeric, sandalwood and other ingredients to the bride to have her glowing for the big day. Now, Dr. Dubey says following the guidelines will ensure that the only thing your guests leave with are happy memories. For more with the couples we spoke to, plus additional recommendations from Toronto Public Health, you can go to our website, citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Dilshad Burman.